Hi, I'm Tim Bartz, Internet Sales Manager here at Law MacArthur Ford in Salina, Kansas. Your source for Ford news updates and information. Uh, coming to you about the 2022 Ford F-150 Lariat Trail. So in this video, we're going to do our complete guide walk around, which means we're going to cover all the standard equipment, the different equipment groups, the different packages, the standalone options, all in this video. So it helps you out if you're on that building price on Ford's website, so you know exactly what's standard on this vehicle, because when you go to the building price, it does not tell you all the standard equipment like I'll cover in this video. So a very um, formative video. So if you don't, uh, if you haven't seen some of our other videos, definitely uh, check, uh, check us out. Hit that red subscribe button down below so you can subscribe to our channel. Hit the notification bell. That way you get notified the next time we have another video uploaded to our YouTube channel. And don't forget at any time, if you like this video, smash that like button for me. I'd really appreciate it. We also do, uh, here at Long MacArthur, we do free shipping on our vehicles, whether it be an inventory or a stock or, or a retail order piece where you want to specifically order something exactly the way you want it, which is probably about the best way to get a vehicle right now in today's economy. Uh, we do free shipping for you if you finance the vehicle with us. More information about that will be at the end of the video, so uh, make sure you hit that. And there will be a timestamp down below as well when I talk about that in the video. So if you kind of get towards the end and want to just skip ahead and find a little more information about that, you can uh, click on that timestamp and get that information. As well as I'll have timestamp timestamps for this entire video as we go around it, get inside, go into the different equipment groups as well as different packages. We're going to have each of those individual timestamps down there so you can check all those out and move around in this video at your will. So let's go ahead and dive right in. First we're going to talk about some of the uh, of course standard equipment, but before we get into that, let's talk about some of the mechanical and safety features on, that are standard on your Lariat trip. So first let's talk about some of the uh, configurations that you might look at when you go into Ford's build and price for the Lariat trim. Uh, these are in two different cab configurations. You either have a super cab or super crew configuration. If you're looking for a regular cab, you need to look at the XL or XLT trim. Uh, the regular cab is not available in the Lariat and above trim levels. Uh, also, uh, bed sizes, uh, you can get in the super cab, two different configurations. You have a six and a half foot bed, which is standard, or you can get the eight foot bed uh, or box with that. The super crew is going to come in either a five and a half foot bed, like you're seeing with this particular one, or a six and a half foot bed, which is a little bit longer bed size for those vehicles. So you can get in different configurations that way. Also, two wheel drive and four by four in any of those configurations. I will tell you, you um, when we're looking talking to about equipment groups, 502A equipment group, you will not be able to get that in a super cab long bed. So just keep that in mind when you're con configuring that up. If you're getting to that and realize. It doesn't let you do that. That's that's probably why right there. Let's talk about the, uh, the gear ratios for just a second. I'm not going to go over all of them. Uh, there is a chart uh, that is available on build and price. Probably should not put that on, on our, our YouTube channel. Some of that is proprietary information. Uh, but I will tell you the standard gear ratio for about every engine and cab configuration is going to be a non aluminum slip rear axle, except for when you get up to the 3.5 EcoBoost and the 3.5 hybrid engines. Uh, those will have electronic lockers as standard equipment and the gear ratio will be different depending on the configuration you have. Some of them will come standard in the 355 and some of the 331 uh, and then of course when you go up to the you know the 35 EcoBoost and the hybrid I think they come standard in the 373 but again any of those are available in other configurations so if yours comes standard with the 331 non limited slip but you want the electronic locker you can get that as optional equipment you can uh, upgrade to even a 373 uh, electronic locking if you want to and there is even some packages that they co that configuration comes standard on it uh, as we'll talk about like the FX4 package and stuff so we'll, we'll we'll get into that and those differences when we get to those packages so that's uh, something to keep in mind on those now the standard engine for the Lariat trim is the 2.7 liter EcoBoost engine in about all configurations uh, with one exception here so uh, all your two-wheel drives will come standard in the 2.7 uh, and then of course all your 4x4 uh, with the the shorter bed, Super Crew, uh, five and a half foot bed as well as the Super Cab, six and a half foot bed will come standard in the 2.7 liter EcoBoost engine. I'm not going to put all the numbers up there. Should get about close to 400 pound feet of torque with the 2.7 liter. Uh, so, and of course, all the numbers on towing capability and such you can access online. There's a lot of different great resources, including your RV trailer and tow guide. Uh, if you just Google it for 2022, you can get all that information for that. Uh, for the, those types of information, you can just Google the uh, you know the horsepower and such for 2.7 and get that information. So also the 5.0 liter uh, V8 engine is standard in your 4x4 long bed. So Super Cab 8 foot bed or the Super Crew 6.5 foot bed will come standard with a 5.0 liter V8 engine. That engine also is optional on the two wheel drive 
uh, short bed configurations as well uh, if you want to go that route. So again, you can go from the 2.7 and to the 5.0. And so you might ask, well, why is it one standard and one not? Uh, basically, it means that with the pricing that they have, the standard pricing, the 2.7 is standard. If you want to upgrade to those other engines, you're going to have to pay to upgrade to those other engines. A couple other engines that are available and optional for you, and one of them is the 3.5 liter V6 EcoBoost engine. That engine is really for power. That one's the one, if you want the most towing capabilities, go with your max trailer tow package, 3.5 EcoBoost, that is gonna get you the most towing capabilities with that engine. Uh, and it's uh, been a tried, true engine there, and uh, it's an engine of choice for my father, I know, that pulls a big uh, fifth wheel camper with his F-150. Loves how that thing works, uh, and it works hard, and it works good. Uh, so that's, that's a, uh, optional on about all of your configurations. Uh, yeah, all of them are available with the, the upgraded EcoBoost engine. The other engine that's available is a 3.5 liter uh, power boost hybrid engine. So that's available as well in about all your configurations, except for it does require you to get a Super Crew uh, configuration. So you do have to have a Super Crew. I believe it's available in long bed or short bed Super Crew. So five and a half or six and a half um, configuration. So you can get the power boost. And power, if you get the power boost, it will also come standard with the 2.4 kilowatt pro power on board. We'll talk more about that when we get to optional equipment, but that allows you to be able to uh, have some outlets in the bed um, and be able to power some things with that the hybrid engine, which is great because you can have that turned on and it's going to work off battery for the most part trying to uh, charge those things, but if it needs the to charge up the battery, it turns the engine on just long enough to power that battery back up and then it'll shut it off. So it's not going to run the engine as long, which is a better way of going than to just have the vehicle turned on altogether to use those. So Pro Power Onboard is a pretty cool thing. I actually have a video that I did last year on the Pro Power Onboard. You can check that out as well. So some other things to think about. 10-speed automatic transmission is standard transmission on all of your engine configurations. Uh, that's a pretty good uh, transmission with select shift as well auto start stop that means if you come up to stoplight stop sign press the brake it's going to shut the vehicle off or the engine off when you let go of the brake it's going to turn it back on uh, so there is a little a with a circle around it uh, i'm not sure where it's located because this one actually has the auto start stop removal here uh, but you can uh, usually it's on uh, right above the screen i believe on those uh, vehicles so that's how that works that's going to be standard but you can as i mentioned we'll talk about optional equipment well one of them is the auto start stop removal so you can have that removed from the vehicle so that it won't go into that auto start stop state so a lot of people are going to be happy to hear about that <laughs> also you do have the auto hold uh, too so if you come up to stoplight you're going to be there for a while you know it's a long stoplight uh, if you want to just uh, instead of holding your the brake the whole time you can press the auto hold button uh, that's a little hand icon you'll see there and uh, when you press that then it'll hold that brake you can take your foot off the gas and it'll just hold it right there until you press the gas and you're ready to go so uh, that's pretty cool as well electric parking brake as well is going to of course come standard on this and you're going to have selectable drive modes whether it be two-wheel drive or four by four, you're gonna have five selectable drive modes. See if I get them right here. You get a normal mode, an eco, a tow haul, a sport mode, and a slippery mode, got them. Uh, and so what's great about those is that you put in those different uh, drive modes and it changes the shifting of the transmission. It may activate and deactivate your four by four system. Uh, if you have four by four, also your traction control, things like that to help you handle those different conditions or driving styles that you might need. So especially in that slippery mode, when it's raining, snowing, outside that's a great one to do because especially these engines even the 27 eco has a lot of power and torque behind it so that kind of helps that so that that way you can take off from a stop you know pretty easily in snowy and rainy weather like that so I really love uh, telling people about that also your two-wheel drives will get another drive mode they'll also get a trail mode and then your four by fours will get two other drive modes on top of the five that come standard on, on both of configurations and they're gonna get a a deep sand, uh, snow sand mode, which allow it to go shift into four by four automatically. And then you do have a mud ruts mode. So you, I think that'll put it in four low when you put it in that drive mode. So that really helps you out in those types of situations. So low speed off-road, that kind of thing for that mud ruts mode. So 
And all your 4x4 uh, configurations will come with the two-speed automatic 4x4 system. Allows you to put an auto 4x4 and uh, drive a little bit easier. And again, when you do that, select those different drive modes, slippery and your mud ruts and such, deep sand, snow, it's gonna shift it automatically into those 4x4 modes for you. So you don't have to do that. So that comes in real handy as well there. Uh, some other things that I wanted to remember to talk about, um, you know, you do have your front uh, independent suspension. You do have the front stabilizer bar as well. Uh, and then of course, don't forget, uh, you will have your hill start assist, a standard equipment on the as well so let's go ahead I want to cover that but let's talk about some of the safety features real quick before moving on I like to be real thorough with this so next part we're going to talk about are some of the safety features now let's talk about some of the safety features here on this and if you've watched some of the videos some of these are the same as they were last year so you could always move on if you want to uh, but I didn't want to go over all these because there are a lot of people out there that want to uh, see how safe this vehicle is and what kind of safety precautions that it has. So in these vehicles you will have the airbags of course. A dual stage front airbag for the driver and front passenger so it'll deploy a different size airbag depends on how close you are to the front of the vehicle. Also get side impact airbag for the driver and front passenger so if somebody comes in and hits you on the side it's going to deploy the airbag from the side of the seat. Also, safety canopy airbags that deploy down from the roof uh, for any kind of rollover uh, situation, so rollover sensors as well. Uh, so the truck rolls over, it's gonna deploy those down to help protect both the front and rear occupants from breaking glass and such like that. Uh, so you're gonna have all the different airbag systems to help protect it. Also here in the back seat you will have, uh, for the super cab as well as super crew, you'll have the safety, the latch system at lower anchors and tether, uh, lower, lower anchors and tethers for children so you can you know secure those boosters in using those tether straps uh, instead of those shoulder harnesses which is the best way to put your child in there as well as there is door locks in these doors too so um, you can lock those out so the kids can't open those when you're stopped or maybe you shut the vehicle off and you're not ready to get out yet you don't want them getting out you can lock, use the, the child safety locks as well in the vehicle so some, some nice safety precautions right there don't forget also advanced track with roll stability control the whole point behind that it uses curve control and the series of braking on the vehicle to keep you on your intended path so if you go into that curve maybe a little too fast curve control kind of help you keep you on your intended path maybe it's slick outside and you want to be sliding around and use a series of brakes to help you keep you on your intended path uh, so advanced track is a really good way to go and it doesn't want you that to roll over so it does have roll stability control as well there so some great features gonna go along with that also you do have pre-collision assist with automatic emergency braking includes pedestrian detection the automatic the brake support as well so if you're someone's going much faster or you're going you're going fast and someone's going slower than you and maybe they're turning I've had it happen that way um, and it'll let, alert you and let you know that that person's going much slower than you're gonna you're gonna hit them if you don't break and then if you don't break in time it'll go ahead and initiate that brake support as well for that vehicle so that's really nice I think um, on these vehicles depends on what available uh, what items you have it may go ahead and break the vehicle in most situations it'll preload those brakes so I believe standard equipment on the Larry is preloading the brakes uh, I think when you go up to some different packages 502a equipment group and some things that's where you're going to actually get the automatic braking system for you um, also with that you do have your uh, post collision braking so if you are in an accident uh, and you hit and you hit somebody something like that um, and then you're not able to put the vehicle in park it'll use post collision braking so you don't go off and and make even a more severe accident out of that situation so this have SOS post crash alert system honks the horns flash the lights if you're in an accident and unconscious so people know they come to your safety 911 assist as well so if you Bluetooth your phone in you have that set up you can call 911 directly um, by using voice commands um, and be able to call straight to the police ambulance whatever you need to help you out instead of having to use OnStar which then would call on the police and that kind of thing so uh, pretty good system and how that works uh, let's see what else um, also we do have reverse brake assist uh, so as you're backing up uh, if you're you know not paying attention and it alerts you and lets you know you, you're there's someone back there if you don't brake it's going to use the reverse brake assist to help brake so you don't run somebody over backing the vehicle up so that's pretty cool and how that works also you do have your lane keeping system so a lane keeping system is a great system when you whether you have your crew set or not you have that lane keeping system activated uh, then it'll help you keep you in your lane uh, so it uses either the um, the warning the alert system or it uses the 
um, you can either uh, aid or alert, sorry. Uh, if you want the alert system, when you go out of your lines, it's going to vibrate the steering wheel. If you want the aid system and actually get over to the line, it'll aid you and bring you back into your lane. So you can use an aid or alert. Also comes with driver alert feature too. So if you take your hands off the steering wheel too often, it'll notify you and let you know that you're doing that. And again, those are features you can activate and deactivate in your settings screen for the vehicle. So, um, and then uh, last couple things is the perimeter alarm. So this does have a couple different ways to protect the vehicle from people trying to get into your vehicle. One of them is a security code passive and a theft system, so it doesn't allow them to steal the vehicle. So if they're trying to get in there and start the vehicle, uh, it, it does alert them of that. So it has that, I'm not sure exactly how that works, but it does have that, uh, the anti-theft system, as well as the perimeter alarm, which is the one that I know the most, <laughs> know the, well, the best, the most about, I should say, and that is, even if you have your windows rolled down, vehicle's locked, if you try, someone tries to get in and unlock your vehicle, it's going to set that horn, the horn's going to go off, the lights are going to go off, and let people know that someone's trying to get into your vehicle. Uh, so, and that works when you have the vehicle locked. So, if the vehicle's unlocked, that course that won't be activated. And then you do have the, the advanced security package as well that comes with this vehicle. Of course, you're getting a more luxurious truck, you want to make sure it's protected, and those are some great precautions to help protect your vehicle. So now we're going to get into uh, the fun part. So we're going to walk around the vehicle, show you the different uh, changes and looks to this vehicle. And I will tell you, this particular vehicle is not just a standard 500A. It means your stock standard Lariat trim. This is actually an upgraded equipment group. So it's going to look a little different than the standard. So I will need to bring some clips from Ford's website to show you the difference. And one of them happens to be with the grill. So um, your Lariats will have a chrome two-bar grill with a minor bar just like this one. The difference is the surround at the top and bottom will be black accented as standard equipment. This one has silver accents on it, so there's a little bit difference there. So your standard one will have your black um, accents and surround right above your two-bar grills, uh, as well as down here below it. Also down here, you're gonna have body colored uh, front fascia here. So in this case, it is this white, the star white. Um, chrome bumpers will be standard equipment on these as well. Uh, these, this then does have the front sensing system that is actually part of a package that we'll talk about a little bit later that this comes with. Um, front tag bracket will be standard equipment in states that require a front tag. Require in states that do not, it's gonna be optional equipment. We'll cover it again in the optional equipment just in case you forget. Uh, also down here, front tow hooks. Uh, these are chrome, they'll be standard, will be the black front tow hooks. Uh, you get the chrome when you go to the chrome package, which we'll talk about in just a little bit. Talking about the headlights here, a lot of features here. You do have standard equipment on these. These are, again, an upgraded headlight, so give you a picture, an image from Ford's website. You will get LED reflector headlights. Difference in between those and projector is those headlights are going to be facing towards the vehicle. There'll be a, uh, the bezels in there that will help reflect back out and bright up and brighten the road for you. Uh, the our automatic feature, which means it'll come on automatic when it gets dark, shut off when it gets light, if you have your headlights in an automatic setting. Also, these will have LED cornering lights, these lights here, as well as down under here, and you'll have LED fog lights as well. So all LEDs here for the vehicle on the front, giving you those nice uh, ones, again, reflector here on these. Also, you will get daytime running lights, is actually a standard equipment on even your XL, XLT trim. Uh, that, that's uh, going to come with these as well. And then you're going to have auto high beams. Works a lot like your automatic headlights. So auto high beams, if it's dark enough outside, you have the activated, they'll come on automatically uh, when somebody's approaching you or if there's uh, some, the, you're in the streets, street lights there, it'll turn those off. And again, that auto high beams can be activated or deactivated in your lighting setting screen. Also, auto or rain lamp. Rain lamp, when you have your wipers on, headlights will come on automatically. So that's a lot of states. It is a state law, so Ford took care of that. And to make sure that those lights are going to come on when you turn your headlights on. So I think, or when you turn your wipers on, I should say. And I think I've covered everything on the front of the vehicle, so let's move around to the side. All right, moving to the side over here. Uh, of course, don't forget these are, this sits on a fully boxed steel frame, one of the strongest frames in the industry out there. Uh, so very uh, sturdy vehicle, aluminum body alloy, of course, uh, for last many years, last several years, anyway, on these vehicles. Uh, for your shocks, you will have heavy duty gas shocks on the front as well as the rear. Differences, the ones on the rear are outbound mounted on the outside of those leaf springs back here. Uh, and the reason for that is for stability for that bed, especially when you have nothing in the bed, uh, it's not heavy or anything like that. Having them on the outside versus some manufacturers that have them inside the leaf spring uh, makes it more stable, especially when you go down those uh, dirt roads and washboard roads and such like that. 
Also, I just mentioned you have rear leaf springs, you'll have front coil springs on the vehicle. Four wheel disc brakes around the vehicle. Your standard tire or wheel, I should say, is going to be an 18 inch uh, aluminum alloy. Uh, or an alloy wheel, I should say, with magnetic painted pockets. This is not your st standard wheel, so you're seeing, seeing an image of the one from Ford's website. Uh, so you can see that. Again, this is the chrome package wheel here. Also, your two-wheel drives will come standard with the all-season tires. 4x4s will come with all-terrain tires on the vehicle, too. Tire pressure monitor system that also is going to be standard on these, too. You have an F-150 Lariat chrome fender badge over here, so real nice. It does have functional vents in there as well to help ex extract some of the heat out of there, helping that engine function a little bit better. Running boards are not standard equipment on this. This is part of the chrome package, just so you know. It's not standard equipment. We'll talk about optional running boards here in just a little bit. If you want one on your stock standard 400, 500A equipment group, we'll get into that. The mirror caps, body colored mirror caps. Again, this is a chrome package one. Body colored mirror caps, you will have power heated mirror feature. Also, we'll get the high intensity security approach lamp. So as you walk up to the vehicle, it's gonna light up beside the vehicle and let you, and so you can see beside you if any puddles or anything or anybody underneath there or something like that. Also, you do have auto dimming feature on this driver's side mirror. So if some comes by you with those bright lights, it'll dim that mirror for you. Also do have the turn signal indicator on the outside of the mirror so people know, especially that are in your blind spots that you're wanting to turn. And then also uh, LED spotlights. So there's a button inside above your headlights that you can cast and use this as an LED light seeing out in front of the vehicle or beside the vehicle over here. So that's also standard equipment on the Lariat trim. And to go along with this, you do have your Bliss system, blind spot information system with cross traffic alert. So what I love about that is it monitors your blind spot. Someone in your blind spot is gonna put a light in the corner of the mirror on the side that they're, they're on. If you have your turn signal on, it's gonna blink and let you know there's somebody there. Also, if you're backing up, cross traffic alert, someone's gonna go behind you, it's gonna alert you and let you know there's someone back there uh, and so that you don't wanna back up into them. Also, I forgot to mention Bliss, blind spot information system. If you have a trailer hooked up, we'll also monitor the blind spot of your trailer too. So, uh, some great features. I'm a big believer in the Bliss with cross traffic alert for that reason here. Uh, so this does have, uh, the door handles are going to be body colored. Uh, again, this is a chrome package truck, so it has chrome handles, uh, but they're going to come standard with your body colored door handles. Seen an image off of Ford's website there. Intelligent access allows you to leave that key fob in your pocket. I'll just put it back here in my pocket here, and then walk up, put your hands in the door handle. It's got to automatically unlock the vehicle. You probably saw that the lights were on several uh, times in this video, because even as you approach it, it'll light that um, beside you, and it'll actually unlock the vehicle, have it ready to go for you as you approach the vehicle and then unlock the vehicle when you put your hands in the door handle and then there's a little knob on the outside just press that on the, the, the two front doors and it's going to automatically lock the vehicle up for you also you get on the lariat trim you do get the remote start for the vehicle so you just lock it press that remote start twice starts it up press and hold it it shuts it off so what's really cool too is uh, it'll light up green if it's if it did get started if you're close enough to the vehicle then it'll light up green let you know that it's running and then if you uh, if it doesn't start it'll light up red and let you know that it did not start as well as it lit up red when I shut it off so you know that uh, also you do have keypad entry so if you want to leave the keys inside you can lock it up use your own special code uh, in the vehicle I do have a how-to video on exactly how to set that code uh, so if you want to watch that video it's I did it on my off of my 2020 f-150 but it's the same uh, premise and it uh, usually can be done the same way on the 2022 f-150 as well I um, think I've covered everything privacy glass in these back windows as well as the back glass whether it be a super cap or super crew um, and then also the fuel tank. 23 gallon fuel tank for the Super Cabs. It'll be a 26 gallon fuel tank standard on the Super Cruise. Now there is an optional extended range. We'll get into that when we get to optional equipment. And this does have the Easy Fuel Capless Filler Door, so you know, don't have to, a cap to worry about leaving behind, getting your hands dirty, anything like that. You just open this door, put it in. There's a two door system, so that second door is the exact size of the, the nozzles that you get from the fuel tanks or fuel pumps, I should say. So it'll fit in there just fine. But if you're, you know, run out of gas and you're you know, using somebody's, you know, can or something, it will not be the right size. There is a funnel. We'll show you where that's located in just a little bit. So over with the jack, uh, use that funnel because it's a perfect size in there so you can fill up your, your uh, fuel there. I think I've covered everything on the outside of the vehicle. Let's go ahead and move to the back and show you some things with the bed and the back of the vehicle. 
All right, moving to the back back here, you will have, typically you will have the, and the, your handle back here will be body colored back here. This is again, part of the Chrome package, uh, but you don't actually, doesn't like have a handle to it. There's just a button to release the tailgate uh, back here. You will have also rear view camera, standard equipment. You will see also the LED light. When you go up to this uh, trim, you get that LED backup light as uh, standard equipment on this. So you will also have the hitch assist. So when you're backing up, you can be able to see those lines, which love that on the Ford vehicles. We back up a lot of vehicles into this picture building. There's a lot of Dodge and Chevys that do not have that. Really like the guidelines and hitch lines to help hit, uh, line you up. Also back here you will have this and it's going to come standard equipment with the chrome bumpers back here with reverse sensing system. So as you're backing up, it's going to alert you as well as don't forget about that reverse brake assist uh, as well. Trailer sway control and all of these will come standard with the class four receiver hitch with the wiring as you can see here. So it'll come with the hitch with the wiring. Also the smart connector, the smart toe connector is what they call that as well. You will also get a full size spare tire. It's located underneath, uh, mounted under there. The jack also comes with it too. Uh, the jack is going to be located behind the uh, passenger, I think it's the passenger side seat over there. And you can, of course, un use your key to, to take this off and then you, you go, the jack goes through there and you lower that spare tire down. I of course, I do have a video on how to do that as well on our YouTube channel too. Uh, I did that video on my 2020 F-150 as well. So has all that. Also with these does have the, the tailgate does a lock with the key fob so you can remote lock it. Um, also you can, un, you can uh, remote unlock it by pressing this or use the remote um, and then you can just press this button and it has remote release. So it's gonna bring it down slowly so you don't have to hold it in there. You will see a couple spots here. That's where you can put some different um, supports there. You can, uh, um, clamps you can put down there if you want to work out of that. Also over here on the side, something the Ford's added in the last couple years is the tie downs over here on the sides of the tailgate. So that way you can tie things down even back here and keep it more secure. There are some other tie downs uh, here on the back as well as up towards the front of the bed too. So four tie downs there plus these. Uh, these also double as a bottle opener too. So if you, you know, on the job site working, it hits five o'clock, pop that beer, whatever your favorite beverage is, it's a bottle. Uh, you can do that right back here as well. Back glass, it does have the uh, rear defrost, also power sliding rear window, a standard equipment on your Lariat trim. And then up there on that, that uh, rear light back there, the center high mounted stop light, uh, it's red, that's halogen, but there's two on the outside. Those are LED lights back there. In fact, this does have this own lighting. So inside you can use that screen there to be able to light up all the way around the vehicle. So it's using the lights, your LED spotlights on the side, your headlights in the front, these rear backup lights, as well as even the light right here to light up behind the vehicle. So that way you can light up all around the vehicle if you're at a job site, campsite a little bit later you want to, and you need to find something, you can light up, use that zone lighting around the vehicle. So I love that. Uh, and I don't know if you noticed, but when I lifted up the tailgate, it has a tailgate assist as well. So some great equipment here on the back, but let's jump inside and talk about some of the standard equipment on the interior of the vehicle. Now standard equipment on the interior here as you're getting in, of course it will have carpeted flooring with the carpeted mats as standard equipment. Uh, of course you can upgrade to you know your floor liners, we'll talk about optional equipment in a little bit. Scuff plates for the driver and front passenger as you're getting in, kind of help protect that uh, from you know getting you know scuffing it up and everything, uh, getting in with your shoes and such. Uh, get inside of course you will have the 40-20-40 split bench seat, leather seating here, standard equipment on your uh, Lariat trim. Now keep in mind, and this does have the bucket seats, but standard configurations you're seeing with that clip is the 40 20 40 uh, bent seat. Uh, under the, underneath the 20% side, you will have a lockable storage underneath there. Power, uh, dual power seats for the driver and front passenger, 10 way for those, so forward and back, up and down. You can power recline, power lumbar as well. Heated and ventilated front seats. Uh, what's ventilated mean? It means it's actually pulling the air through to cool the seat off instead of trying to cool the seat uh, with some sort of cooling agency. It's going to be quieter. You're not going to have that condensation sitting underneath the seat. Ford's gone to that uh, several years ago now and it, it's just a much quieter and better experience with that cooling the seat off that way. Um, also uh, in the back seat, you're going to have a 60-40 split bench seat for the Super Cab and Super Crew. The difference, the Super Crew model will have a, a wider or deeper seat cushion there. And also you're going to have an armrest that comes out of that backrest for your Super Crew models too. 
you're gonna have some USB ports behind the console uh, back here if you 60 you know you're gonna have that 40% seat it can lay down creating an armrest and then also those will be down below there towards the bottom by the floor you'll have a couple USB ports back there as well under sheet storage as long as you don't have the pro power on board so you have under sheet storage this one doesn't have that because it does have the pro power on board that's why that that's the configuration is back there here on the the windows you will have power windows for even the super cab models will have power rear windows uh, you will have one touch for the driver and front passenger that's one touch down and up which means you don't have to hold the button you just uh, hard press it down and it's going to automatically roll the window down as well as come up for the driver and front passenger windows uh, power locks as well so you're going to have power windows and locks um, and then you're also going to have power, uh, of course your power mirrors we've already talked about uh, here. Um, and then you're going to also have the driver memory as well. It positions right there by your locks. So three different positions or three different memory slots there for three different drivers. That's going to memorize the position of your mirror and your seat as well as your power adjustable pedals. Those pedals can come forward and back and those will be included in your uh, memory features uh, as well. Uh, leather wrap steering wheel uh, as well for this. So black leather wrap steering wheel. You will have the manual tilt and telescoping steering wheel. So if I can find that lever, should be uh, over here. Oh, this, one, this, this one's upgraded, forgot. So you will have a lever underneath there that allows it to go down, up and down, forward and back and get it just right. So, you know, adjust that distance of the seat from the, you know, the steering wheel if it feels comfortable and then adjust those pedals accordingly for the shorter or taller drivers. Uh, so that makes it real nice and easy for you. Also, you're going to have cruise control, a standard equipment, of course, on these. Um, we did talk about, uh, we're going to uh, talk about in a little bit later about adaptive cruise when you go up to the 502A equipment group. Uh, as well as another package available even on your 500A if you want to upgrade to that. So you'll have that cruise control. Controls over here on the right side will control the 12 inch digital display in the productivity screen. That is a screen uh, where you look through uh, through your steering wheel there. So real nice display there. Uh, just beautiful digital display. Uh, 12 inch screen there uh, for you to be able to see there. You do have your push button start here. Don't forget to press the brake. For some reason, a lot of people think, I don't know, for some reason, they're not used to doing it. Uh, but with a push button start, sometimes they just, for some reason, forget that they need to press the brake. So push button start here. Also, you're gonna have dual zone climate control. So the driver and front passenger are gonna have two different temperatures. Uh, you can see there your heated uh, seat buttons are right there. Heated and cooled seats are right there. Automatic means that you can you know, have a temperature for the driver to have and a separate one for the passenger as well over there. Audio system is an AM, FM, a six speaker audio sound system. Uh, we will talk about in a little bit the 501A and 502A where you can upgrade to an eight speaker audio system uh, here in a little bit, but a standard is gonna be a six speaker audio sound system. Notice that screen, it does have the Sync 4 system with a 12 inch touchscreen. I love that uh, nice display there. You can, of course, Bluetooth your phone in. Uh, comes with a cloud connected uh, capabilities, more conversational commands, a lot easier to use. It does have the new wake up word uh, where you can say different things like OK Ford and that kind of thing, which is what I've set up on mine. Does have the, in, the um, information on demand. So, this right panel over here, you can just click through those for quick things and you can just slide those over when you need them. So, you know couple things that you like to access the most you can have one on the big display and then over here on this panel you just just pull that over and it uh, on you know maybe the second one that you like and they just flip position so I love how that works and then the nice screen for your backup camera to come into view and everything right there through that screen so I love how that that works there and also does have the connected navigation standard equipment as well with this too so I think it gives you uh, three months of service with that uh, you will have to pay to upgrade that service I think from that uh, at least I had to on mine auto dimming rear view mirror up here so that it'll dim that mirror of cars come up behind you with those bright lights uh, don't forget you have a PowerPoint uh, over there I think on the the 2040 uh, 40 20 40 split bench seat which is standard equipment uh, those uh, USB ports and power points are going to be right below this uh, the climate control down there uh, on this the screen there and then you do have a little button there it pops up in this top glove box and then the bottom one there we go the bottom one opens up of course and then you do also have let's see some other things oh 
Uh, your lights are up here too to turn on for your interior lights, uh, of course. Uh, and I think I uh, covered everything. Oh yeah, Ford Pass Connect, a uh, way to stay connected to your vehicle using the Ford Pass app. You can unlock and lock your vehicle. You can remote start your vehicle, schedule remote start times, locate your vehicle. A lot of features through the Ford Pass Connect. So you definitely want to make sure you're using that, connect your vehicle up as well as that's where you're going to see your Ford Pass reward points every time you get your oil change and such. And when you first purchase your vehicle, you're going to have 42,000 points to be able to use towards service. Uh, accessories something like that uh, and then of course if you use your Ford if you get a Ford Pass credit card uh, you can sign up for one of those and every time you use that you're gaining more and more points to use towards service and accessories uh, like I like to do so anyway I think I've covered all the equipment here on the interior of the vehicle now let's talk about a package you might consider getting a 501a equipment group so let's talk about that 501A equipment group. We call it the mid equipment group around here. So that equipment group includes three features that are included with this equipment group. And it's going to, one of them is going to be the 400 watt outlet. So 400 watt outlet is going to give you an outlet, one outlet in the bed. Also give you an outlet on the instrument panel. So on the, if you do not have the console there, it's going to, uh, either way, it's going to be located over just to the right of the, uh, by the center stack or the instrument panels, what they call that. As well as if you have a console, you'll have one on the back of the console as well so and then you can use that you, again you do have to have your vehicle turned on for those to be activated also universal garage door openers so on the visor there you're gonna have your garage door openers up there now, only way to really get that uh, is going up to the 501a or 502a equipment group to get the universal garage door openers and then you also do have the Beano audio sound system with eight speakers including a subwoofer so upgrades that audio sound system to that Bang & Olufsen sound system uh, so some three great features as part of the 501a equipment group. Now let's talk about the 502A equipment group. Now this one here does include a couple packages included in this equipment group, but let's talk about the other features first before we get into those, uh, because those other two packages are also available on the 501 and some of them, one of them available on the 500A as well. But the first thing you're going to get on this as part of the 502 equipment group is the projector headlights. So now you're going to get those projector LEDs with the dynamic bending, which means as you turn, it's going to light up your intended path, which is really cool. So those projector LED headlights up there are real nice. So it's going to change it from reflector to the projected headlight, so much brighter there. Also, rain sensing wipers is also included in this equipment group. So rain sensing wipers, if you have that activated in your lighting set or your wiper section of your settings, you turn that uh, the wiper into the in one of those intermittent settings. If it starts to rain, it's going to automatically put, turn those wipers on. If it starts to rain harder, it's going to wipe faster and they'll shut off if it stops raining altogether. So you don't have to turn them on and off constantly and keep changing that with the uh, change in the, the rain there. So that's really nice having that, those, that feature there. The rest of these features inc are included on the inside other than those packages. Uh, one of them you're going to get as uh, included with this is you're going to get the bucket seat. So now you're going to have the bucket seats with that flow through console there. Uh, that's where you know, you're going to have that outlet on the back of the console uh, if you do have the 400 watt outlet, uh, which since you go 501A, you're going to have that as well. So you'll have that outlet in the back. Also, you're going to get heated seats for the rear seat back here. So uh, those two outbound seats will get heated seats as well. Those are going to be adjusted on the back of that console. Another reason why you need that console. Also, you're going to get the heated steering wheel here. So now you have the heated ventilated seats and now you upgraded with the heated steering wheel as part of this equipment group. Power tilt and telescoping steering wheel as well. So now the, the steering wheel already goes up and down, forward and back. Now it's going to be powered and it's going to include memory. So that's going to be part of your memory settings. So to memorize your mirror, your um, power adjustable pedals, your seat, as well as your uh, tilt and telescoping steering wheel. Wireless charging pad is also going to be included in this equipment group. So just put that down there, that slide open slot there for the uh, console. Put that wireless charging pad down in there and it's going to be to power your um, wireless, the phones wirelessly if you have a one that can charge that way. So real nice in how that's equipped and another reason why you need that flow through console in there. So those are all going to be included as part of the 502 equipment group plus two packages. First package I'm talking about is the Copilot 360 Assist 2.0, the upgraded version of this. This is your adaptive cruise control, uh, the intelligent adaptive cruise control I should say. So this is going to basically, you know, adaptive cruise when you have it set. If there's, you're coming up behind somebody and they're going slower than you, it'll go their, their speed 
speed so that way you don't have to hit your brakes or anything and then when you pass them it'll resume back up without you having to do anything on your part really love that also comes with speed sign recognition with that stop and go as well so a speed sign recognition by the way means that if you're have that set at 70 and you maybe have an increment of five miles an hour over at 70 and it's 70 so there you'd be going 75 and that's where your cruise is set that speed limit changes to 60 automatically slow you down to go 65 so real nice that helps you keeping from getting any kind of speeding tickets right in those uh, different areas where it slows down and speeds up I actually had that happen recently uh, on a trip back from delivering a vehicle so that's a, a great feature to have also it gives you the lane centering system too so a little bit different than your adaptive or your lane uh, keeping system the lane centering is activated when you have your crew set it's going to keep you in the center of your lane so that way you won't even get close to those lines when you're going on the highway so I love that uh, can't wait we're going to have that on our expedition coming up and I love that system there also evasive steering assist so if you're not able to stop in time it'll help you avoid that accident by helping you turn even quicker uh, and more abrupt uh, with that and it does include the new intersection assist as well as part of this so intersection assist if you're turning there's a car coming you're not paying attention it'll actually break you so you don't hit that vehicle that's uh, crossing that intersection when you're trying to turn left in front of them so love how that all works together so the uh, copilot 360 assist 2.0 does require you to have the 360 degree camera so i believe on this equipment group it's not included so you will have to order the 360 degree camera um, so I'm not sure why I didn't just throw that in there but it also that 360 degree camera which puts a camera under each of these uh, these uh, mirrors as well as one on the front uh, go along with the one on the back so you can see completely around you uh, that there uh, does, is included in a couple different other packages so that's probably why they made it to where you have to do that optional there that way so if you don't get the TOTAC package you would have to make sure you get the 360 degree camera package to go along with this uh, this pack this equipment group also to come along with this you're going to get the chrome appearance package so typically uh, when you go to a 502a equipment group you're going to get an appearance package either the chrome appearance package which is usually standard or you can option for the sport appearance package let's talk about the chrome appearance package first so the chrome appearance package is going to give you the chrome accents we've been kind of alluding to this vehicle this whole time that does have the chrome appearance package so up there on the grill you can see same two bar grill with the minor bar in the middle now you're going to have those silver accents at the top and bottom of the grill uh, in there so hopefully you get a good clip of that and also you're going to of course and still get your chrome bumpers on the front up there chrome mirror caps as well as you're seeing with this one here so i'm going to change that from body color to chrome mirror caps chrome door handles so again from body color to chrome door handles you're going to get the chrome running boards as uh, part of this package too it's just like you're seeing with this particular vehicle giving you the chrome platform running boards the back the you're also going to see the door handle on the back of the tailgate like we mentioned earlier is going to be chrome also get a chrome exhaust tip is part of this equipment group and then the 18 inch chrome wheels that you're seeing on this one that i alluded to earlier in the video so it's also going to be included on this so uh, that is going to be a standard now keep in mind the chrome appearance package is also available on the 501a equipment group as optional equipment but is included in this equipment group so if you wanted the 501a maybe you didn't want some of those other features like the uh, heated steering wheel and some of those other features you could elect to go 501a add the chrome appearance package or a sport appearance package to the 501a equipment group if you wanted to also the copilot 360 assist 2.0 is also available as optional equipment too uh, i believe let me look at my notes real quick i believe that is optional uh, on the where is it <laughs> that is optional on the 500 or 501a equipment group but would require you to have the either the tow tech package or the 360 degree camera package with it too so kind of going over those two packages as we move on to going inside we're going to go inside to the office now and complete the rest of the packages and your standalone options all right now we've kind of gone over all the standard equipment in the 501a and 502a equipment groups uh, now i wanted to come into my computer and i'm actually going to pull up pull up the build and price tool because the rest of these uh packages i need to talk about are not really on any of the vehicles we have in stock because that was one of the, the only vehicles that we had in stock currently right now but i want to cover these other features and other packages so you can think about that now a lot of you are probably going to before you order your vehicle anyway go to ford's build and price tool so let me kind of pull this up and kind of kind of show you what it looks like here uh, so that way you have a good idea of what's going on so uh, here uh, ford has updated their building price and you can get there pretty easily by going to ford.com and clicking on your trucks and vans and then going into the 22 f-150 build and price then you usually have to click here yep build your own 
instead of looking for inventory. And here we go. So the first thing that I'm going to do, because a lot of these packages do require certain specifications, I'm going to go ahead and select the Super Crew with a five and a half foot bed before selecting my Lariat trim. So you want to make sure you configure that right side over there. Uh, your you know your cab style as well as your box and then before you go into your trim so we're going to hit that lariat trim pulls us in uh, there we go and so you can kind of see this we're going to use these images right here which you've probably seen already in a couple of clips uh, as we went over the standard equipment we used some of the clips from ford's website for that as you can see this is the standard trim so that grill up there does have you can see the black inserts back behind there with the chrome grills. Now we're gonna go on down, uh, since, since we've kind of talked about the standard equipment in the 500, 501A and 502A equipment group, we're gonna go ahead and talk about some appearance packages because on the 502A equipment group, it comes standard with your chrome package, but you can also get the optional um, sport packet. So we're gonna go over these packages again. Now up here in the top, you can scroll down if you want you to get to them, or you can just click the headings and go down to that section. We're gonna go to packages. Now, the first package I wanna talk about is the Chrome package. Uh, even though we kinda of went over that in uh, just a little bit ago, uh, that is optional on the 501A equipment group. It's included in the 502A equipment group, but you can also get the mid package up here, uh, the mid equipment group, which is your, that's your 501A equipment group is what we like to call here at the dealership. Uh, so you add that and then you go ahead and then you can go and add the Chrome package at that point right there. And as, and as you do that, you'll notice it does change the look over here on the vehicle. So it does have your Chrome grill with the silver accents behind there and on the sides just kind of brightens up the grill up there also you'll notice those led lights did go to the projectors we talked about as part of the 502a equipment group i guess not part of the chrome package but 502a which is in this case um actually I didn't upgrade the headlights so mid package does not come with the projector headlights sorry and then you do have the chrome bumpers that are standard equipment on even the 500a and then you'll notice the chrome wheels were upgraded uh, actually, the mirrors are missing on these images. Really weird. So Ford needs to fix that. Uh, it does have your chrome door handles. And in this case, it's showing the power boards, which are not standard on the chrome package, uh, but is available as an upgrade. We'll get into some options here in just a little bit. And then move around to the back. You see the chrome accent on the tailgate as well back there. Chrome exhausted, kind of see back there as well uh, on this package. So there's what you're getting with the chrome. Appearance package, again, is optional including the 502A equipment group, but also optional on the mid 501A equipment group if you want to go that route. Another option for you if you're looking at a 501A or a 502A equipment group is the sport appearance package. Uh, does uh, That one does have some requirements. Um, uh, you're seeing here it's going to flip that over from the, the Chrome to the sport package. Um, so when we go to that package, you'll notice it's more expensive than the Chrome package by $300, and that's because they have to switch out those bumpers. So sport appearance package is optional, again, on the 501 or 502A equipment group, so it's available on that. So if you want the 502, 502A equipment or the high equipment group, uh, you don't have to get the Chrome package. You can get the sport package. Uh, another some A couple things that the sport package is not available with is not available available with the super crew uh six and a half foot bed so you can't get the bigger bed you have you have to get the uh super crew five and a half foot bed or you can get the super cab and either two of those bed configurations and of course it's not available with the chrome package as we just saw when we clicked on that so looking at that sport appearance package you're going to see it does look a little different as you notice there the grill is different so you're going to have the uh of course that the, the Grill is going to be uh, the dark two-bar grill with the, the minor bar and then even the surround back there that keeps what's stock and what's standard on the 500A uh, standard equipment. You're going to keep that same grill surround right there as well. Now you'll notice the bumpers are going to be body colored throughout here. So you're going to have that. Uh, you're also going to have a different wheels. You're noticing here it's an 18-inch uh, six-spoke machine alloy wheel with the gloss black painted pockets. Uh, so that's what that uh, wheel is going to look like. You're going to see accent running boards. So it uh, doesn't mention the color in here. I think they're gray, if I remember right, from, same as last year. So gray running boards on the side. Um, can't see the mirror caps and the mirrors here, um, but you will have the body colored mirror caps will stay as part of the, what's uh, standard on the vehicle. And then you'll notice instead of a chrome fender badging, you're going to have the black fender badging on the side. And you'll keep your body color door handles for as part of the standard equipment. Moving around to the back, the the tailgate handle back there will go back to body colored instead of that. And then the rear bumper is going to be um, also body color back here. And then you're going to have the chrome exhaust tip will be included in this like it does with the chrome appearance package. 
and then you're going to have your sport badging there on the side now if you look at the interior if we actually click on the interior and go into there you can see it is also going to come standard with the bucket seats with the flow through console and the floor shifter so the you know that's it's a nice upgrade when you go up to that now bucket seats are going to be optional we'll talk about that in a little bit but when you go to the sport package it's included along with the sport seats interior in there as well so uh you kind of they call it the unique interior finish there so it's going to be a little different on the dash and some places the doors and such uh when you go to the sport appearance package so a uh, real nice package there so that that's a great package now that package is required if you want to get another appearance package the uh, black appearance package so the lariat black appearance package available for this year was not available last year uh, so you do have to have that so if i click the black appearance package um, for some reason it's not showing a price uh, there you go now that price is showing up there does require a couple things because i had to go up um, you had to go up to the high package to get this forgot to mention that so one of the requirements is that you have to have to get the, this package you have to have a super crew six and a half five and a half a bed sorry Super Crew, five and a half foot bed, and does require to go to the Lariat High Package uh, 502A Equipment Group to get that, and is not available with your 3.5 liter EcoBoost engine on your two wheel drives. Uh, and then it's not available with the continuously controlled dampening as well. Um, so those are some of the requirements there. But when we do that and click yes there, you're gonna see what the difference and changes are to that. So the grill stays the same as the sport package as well as the body colored bumpers there. Does upgrade the wheels to 20 inch black wheel there. As you can see, uh, Ford's calling it a gloss black painted alloy wheel. Uh, your running boards now are gonna be, instead of like a gray color, they're gonna be black. Uh, running boards on the side, mirror caps body colored still, door handles body colored, the, the fender badging. Um, I think the fender, fender badging will go to black. Um, and I, just like it is on the sport package, you'll still get that sport decal on the side. And then on the back, body colored bumpers. Um, this is actually showing a chrome uh, tailgate badge. That's not correct. So Ford needs to fix that up. Uh, you still get that chrome exhaust step from the sport appearance package. Uh, but then your badging, this on the side will go to more of a black accent and your your emblems will be black as well uh, on that. So let's see if I got everything. So black body side decals uh, for, for the four by four. Uh, in the FX4 uh, packaging. So if you combine this with the FX4, you'll get the FX4 in the black uh, uh, color there. Uh, black exterior badging, black tailgate, uh, tail lamp bezels, uh, black in interior accents as well. So let's, let's look at that on the interior and see what that looks like. So you can see it takes it and gives you all black interior instead of having some of that, that brown color that you get from the sport package. So upgrades your interior uh, even more. Uh, uh, dual exhaust with black tips, it says here. So that's something else Ford needs to fix on the website. It looks like um, is instead of the chrome tip, you're going to get uh, from the sport package, you're going to get upgraded to a black tip dual exhaust. Um, and that is on the four by fours. Uh, maybe that's why it did that because I still was selecting two wheel drive. Let's go down here to select four by four. Where was that at? Here we go. Let's select four by four and see how that changes our look to that. Yep. I want to change that. Still showing that chrome exhaust tip, but it should be a black dual uh, exhaust tip. And it's saying it does require the 4x4 and the 3.5 EcoBoost engine only for the dual exhaust. So if we change our engine, <laughs> see if the website's up to date on this. So we go to 3.5 Eco along with the uh, 4x4. And there we go. So <laughs> this is really weird. So check that out. So it's actually showing three exhausts. <laughs> So you have the dual exhaust tip, as you can see back here in the back on the best back shot, and then it has it on the side. So they need to correct that on their website. So that's actually kind of funny. Um, so you will not get the side exhaust along with the, the, the dual rear exhaust. It'll just be the rear exhaust on your 4x4 EcoBoost engines only. Uh, of course, the matte black tailgate uh, F-150 decal as well in the back. Hard to see in this image. Let's go, if we go to a different color. Again, you can play with this yourself if we go to like a white oh nope don't want to do that so only certain colors as well so nope. we pick red so black appearance package only color uh, available in certain colors here so it looks like it reset a lot of our stuff here 
So anyway, you get you kind of get the idea there. Um, I want to go sport appearance package. We may have to switch colors. There we go. And add our black appearance package back on. Our engine should still be there. There you go. Exhaust, dual exhaust tips. As you can see, there is your black lettering there, as you can see, and the black graphics on the side that say 4x4 because we went to 4x4. So that's how that'll look there uh, for the sport appearance package. So that's all the three of the appearance packages that I want to cover. Uh, next thing I want to uh, talk about uh, would be the fx4 off-road package so it does of course require the 4x4 uh, for this uh, only requirement and then it does upgrade when you go to the fx4 package you can kind of see if we get down where is that i think i just scrolled right by it there you go so for a thousand dollars you can go to the fx4 package to get your off-road capabilities and that should be available with your black appearance package so let's click on that and usually if there is a price there, it, it's going to be compatible with that. So uh, you notice the decal went to the FX4. Uh, FX4 will always um, take care of any other badging, 4x4, sport package, anything like that. When you go FX4, you always get that FX4 badging on the side. So that's one of the things you're going to get. Also, you're going to get the 331 electronic locking rear axle uh, with the 5.0 liter engine or the 35 EcoBoost engine um, for that. Or you can get a 355 electronic locking rear axle with the 2.7 uh, engine. Um, so that's the two, the difference uh, gear ratios. Now you can upgrade as optional equipment to the 373 if you want. 355 from 331 to 355 or even up to 373 uh, as well for that too. And you can do the same thing for the 27 if you want to upgrade as the optional gear ratios. Um, also, you're going to get the course the FX4 badging on the sides, as I mentioned. Uh, floor liners inside, so you'll have those that will be included. That's uh, included that in this package last year. Um, you're also going to get the hill descent control, uh, off road tuned front shocks, uh, monotune rear shocks as well. I don't really can't really show any images of that in here because um, you can't really see underneath it. You will get a rock crawl mode as part of the FX4 package. And then, of course, you're going to get the skid plates to protect underneath it. Again, this is if you want to go off-road, this is a good package. Giving you your skid plates, giving you the uh, rock crawl mode, which is a really important one, too, if you're wanting to do that. Hill descent control, off-road shocks, uh, monotune rear shocks, and that kind of thing. And then, of course, your upgraded gear ratios, too, giving you electronic locking gear ratios for that. So that's a pretty cool package a lot of people like to uh, like to talk about. Another package you might consider, uh, let's see if I can find it here, the bed utility package. So on the Lariat trim, as you can see it's $9.95 uh, package there. And that's going to upgrade, and it really doesn't show you any. I uh, can't really see inside the bed. There we go. That's the best I can get for the bed shot. It does give you the box link system as part of this package. So you're going to get the cleats on the side over there. Uh, you're going to get the plates on the side with the cleats, lockable cleats there for the bed utility package, as well as here's where you're going to get your tailgate step. So that tailgate step is included in this package. In the past, it's been a standalone option for a tailgate step. Now it's included in this package. You're going to get the bed utility package with the box link, the tailgate step, which also includes the work surface on the back, your tailgate work surface. Uh, and then for your Lariat trim, we'll also get the power tailgate. So that's not just power release like we talked about inside the building. It's also power up as well so it's going to close too for you so it's going to get all those as part of this package so pretty uh you know when talking about the price of that getting your tailgate step your power tailgate up as well as the work surface and the box link system uh not too bad a pricing if for getting all of those uh those features in there now let's talk about some tow features uh for a second if you're gonna get a truck you're probably thinking about towing with it there's about three options that you can go with and the first one is your tow technology package now this package is of course not available with your tow package or your max trailer tow package um, and of course, uh, normally would include, would require you to get the class four receiver hitch, but that's already standard equipment on the Lariat trim. And it will include the pro backup assist. And that is that dial. Let's see if I can get an image of that here, actually this little image right here shows you that. So right up there at the very top of this, there's your pro uh, trailer backup assist. Use that dial to back up your trailer uh, using the camera system. And it also give you 360 degree camera. So camera under each of the side mirrors, the front under the emblem, as well as the one in the rear. Uh, and then you're going to get trailer reverse guidance 
and you're going to get the trailer brake controller which is also list is right there right above your drive mode switch you're going to get trailer brake controller as well and your smart trailer tow connector uh, will that will include the bliss that covers the trailer as well uh, so the, the blind spot of the trailer. So uh, uh, tow technology pack, as you can see, 880 for that package is actually cheaper than getting going with the tow package. Now, uh, that's something that you might think about doing because it's going to include a lot of those features. Now, some people want the tow package, um, and that package is, where is that up? Right up here. It is $1,000, $1,090 for that package. Um, and that package gives you a lot of the same features as the tow technology package, minus your 360 degree camera so it's going to give you the pro trailer backup assist as we talked about it's going to give you the trailer brake controller it's going to give you the tra trailer led light or the tailgate led light uh, of course it's already standard on the lariat trim and then the smart trailer tow connector so you're going to get all those features already you'll notice it doesn't include trailer reverse guidance and it doesn't include the 360 degree cameras so that's something to think about and you might question why is that more expensive and a lot of people feel like that's because the trailer tow package probably has some other capabilities that takes it a little bit further than the tow technology package does um, but we haven't seen anything in the order guide it doesn't mention anything like that any upgrades uh, to that and last year there was a disclaimer that you couldn't go over 7,000 pounds of towing unless you had the tow package or max trailer tow but that is not on the RV and trailer tow guide 422 uh, so I think that was a misprint maybe last year so um, you know something to think about I mean the tow technology package it gives you more features for less money so that's where the route that a lot of people are going uh, this year now you do have the max trailer tow package as you can see there that is a $2,000 package there if you want to go that route uh, and that package includes more features than what you get on the, the, um, the, of course we have that. Um, it does include more features than it does on the tow tech package. So with some exceptions. So when you go to this package, uh, this is not, by the way, this pack is not available with the 2.7 liter EcoBoost engine and not available with your 18 inch wheels. So uh, like this one, it let us pick it because we had 20 inch wheels as part of the black appearance package. But if we go with the Chrome package with the 18s, then it's not compatible with that. You have to go up to 20 inch wheels with the Max Share the Tow package. Uh, so keep that in mind. Also does require either 3.5 EcoBoost or the 5.0 liter V8 engine, which is was new last year, or the Power Boost engine. So it's available in those engines. So it's really just not available on the 2.7 uh, engine, and then you'll need the 20 inch wheels. Um, now this does a package does include the 355 electronic locking rear axle, of course, max trailer tow. You're trying to pull that boat, camper, whatever it might be. So you need an electronic locking gear ratio. So the 355 is what's going to be included as part of the 35 EcoBoost, as well as the two wheel drive power boost engines. Um, now the 373 electronic locking differential is what's going to come with the 5.0 liter V8 as well as the, the 35 power boost with the four x four. So, uh, with those two different, uh, those two different engines there it will come with the 74 connector in the back which already comes with the trailer tow package as part of the lariat trim so that's going to already be on there you do get the 36 gallon fuel tank with this package as well um, and then you're going to get the pro trailer backup assist the smart trailer tow connector it includes the blind spot of the trailer the integrated trailer brake controller and then upgraded rear bumper and i believe bigger brakes as well uh, not showing on the order guide but i think we found a spot where we found that information that it does give you the bigger brakes upgraded bumper which my opinion it probably upgrades the shocks as well um, because it's wanting to handle more load on there on the tongue uh, of the vehicle especially when you're doing the conventional towing so uh, max trailer tow package uh, again if you want to get the max amount of towing capabilities you want to go and order this package on there Another package you might think about if you plan on putting a snowplow on your vehicle is the snowplow prep package. It is called a prep package uh, here for this, and it does require that you have the five the five point liter V eight engine, and does require the four x four course as well. Now this one will give you on your Lariat trim. You lose the the two speed four wheel drive system, and it gives you an electronic shift on the fly. So we'll switch that out for your Lariat trim. Uh, so it's going to give you a snowplow mode button that will disable the, the load to several different uh, vehicles and electronics within the vehicle to give that power over to your uh, snowplow. So it's going to basically, you're going to switch the power over from your 
um, onboard 400 watt outlet, your fog lights, and your heated and ventilated seats, and give that power to that snow plow so you can control the snow plow electronically. So it kind of helps with uh, being able to control that. So that's pretty much what it does. It doesn't upgrade anything with the shocks or the front end or anything like that. It's just giving you that that mode to disable electronics from coming to one way, and on the Lariat trim, gives you the switches out your electronic locking shift on the fly instead of a two speed four wheel drive system. So keep that in mind. If you're wanting that snow plow prep package that's what's included there and uh, i think we did see that up here let's see what the, how the cost on that price is, or of that package is 50 dollars because again it doesn't include a lot of features giving you that mode button and you do kind of switching out the four-wheel drive system gives you kind of a discount there a couple other packages to think about and uh, one of them was included in the 502 equipment group we talked about earlier in the video when we were in the building and that is the ford copilot 360 assist 2.0 uh, this does require the 360 degree camera or the tow technology package. So if you have the tow tech package, you'll be set to go, uh, but otherwise you will have to add that. So Copilot 360 Assist 2.0, this one right down here, which says it was included because I think we chose the 502A equipment group because we did have to do that to get the black appearance package. Uh, so this one here is going to include your, we already talked about this earlier, but just kind of go over it, run it down again. You get that intelligent adaptive cruise control with stop and go, lane centering, and speed sign recognition, as well as evasive steering assist and intersection assist. Uh, and then, you, of course, you already get the connected navigation is included in the, uh, the Lariat trim. So you're going to get that. Now, remember that this package is standard equipment on the 502A equipment group, but is optional on the standard Lariat trim. As well as if you want to go to that mid package, it's going to be available as optional equipment on the mid package, too. Now let's talk about a, another Copilot 360 feature that's optional on the high equipment group, that 502A equipment group, and that is the Ford Copilot 360 Active 2.0. So that does also require you to have either the tech package or a um, the 360 degree camera package, but you can order that. Now, of course, know that with this, you're going to get the Blue Cruise with that. Now, that Blue Cruise allows you to basically do hands-free driving on the vehicle. So you can do that pretty easy with that. Um, pretty pretty cool to use. Um, so you go hands-free on certain roads uh, without with the Blue Cruise. And then you're going to also get the uh, the Active Park Assist 2.0. And that, that just allows you to reverse perpendicular park, parallel park your vehicle, um, all those different features, find your parking spaces and everything with that feature. And that will also include the front sensing system within that. So uh, again, that's optional on the 502A high equipment group, not available on the 500A or 501A equipment group. So keep that in mind. Now let's talk about some standalone options available here, and then we'll start with the engines because as we mentioned earlier, the 2.7 liter EcoBoost engine was a standard engine on most of your uh, configurations, including your two-wheel drive long beds. Um, and then of course the 5.0 liter v, uh, V8 was standard equipment on the 4x4 long beds. Uh, but you can kind of, this is a great example to be able to see, you know, the 5.0 liter V8 engine is an optional engine. It's about $800 charge. And the reason I say it's optional is because if you choose it, that will take your price from the stock uh, the standard, you know, Lariat trim, you know, it'll take it up $800 if you choose the 5.0 liter V8 engine, as you can see the price right there. Also, the 3.5 liter EcoBoost engine uh, with auto start stop right there, $1,400 charge if you want to go up to that engine as well. And then you notice the Power Boost engine gets you $3,300 to upgrade to that uh, Power Boost full hybrid V6 engine. Uh, so that's another a way to go. So you can you can see those prices when you upgrade to those engines. Uh, and of course, the 35 EcoBoost is available on any configuration. The 5.0 liter V8, of course, standard on the, the 4x4 long beds. Um, and then optional on the other configurations. And then the Power Boost does require to have the Super Crew, which we have selected, and that's why we're seeing it there. But if I had, you know, if I had gone with the Super Cab configuration, you wouldn't see that as an option. So if you're in here and you're not seeing an option, it might be because of configuration. So that's why this video can kind of be helpful because, you know, uh, in this case we have the Super Crew, but if we go back to the model and I choose Super Cab, right, um, six and a half, <laughs> and I go to Lariat Trim, as you can see there, um, and then go to the different powertrains, you'll notice Power Boost is now missing because you have to go Super Crew to get the Power Boost. So you know why I selected the Super Crew uh, version there is because... 
uh, I know all the options are going to be showing up for that. So now let's talk about another thing. Of course, you can get the auto start-stop removal. Uh, of course, that is optional on all the trims and available on the 5.0, the 2.7, the 3.5 EcoBoost uh, 4x4. Of course, that is not available on the hybrid engine. So uh, 3.5 EcoBoost two-wheel drive is not available on. So keep that in mind. So if we go... Um, to those different powertrains and we're on two-wheel drive now uh it's not going to be available if i go um sorry i actually have the two seven there but if i went to the ecoboost right and i went to um let's see if that auto start stop should be and here actually right here is where your gear ratios are by the way if you want to see the upgrades and possibilities you can click on them um if there's not a price typically that's not available so just keep that in mind and then you know so you can move down and see those i'm just going to look for that auto start stop removal i'm not sure where to be listed on the website because more to me it's more of a function on an extra interior feature um but it should be listing and showing us that on here um i don't really see it Let's see if it's on the interior of the vehicle Okay, so I'm not seeing it there, um, but it should be available. Uh, so I'm not sure why it's not showing, but it could be some of the configuration that we have here. But auto start, auto start, stop uh, removal. There are a lot of people don't like that feature. Basically, it's gonna, you know, I mentioned it earlier in the video. And you know, come up to stoplight, stop sign. It's gonna shut the vehicle off, let go of the brake. It's gonna turn it back on. People don't like that it's shutting on and off. Uh, so they like to have that removed. There's a button typically will be on the vehicle, but a lot of people don't, they want it disabled all the time. And you can do that and ordering it that way. As long as uh, you have the, the 5.0 liter V8, 2.7 V8, or the 3.5 with the 4x4, you can get that feature. Uh, also on the front of the vehicle, you have the engine block heater. I'm going to go back up to exterior here and go through some of these. And these, these are kind of in order of how I'm looking at them. So we're going to just scroll around in here, but engine block heater is available. Um, should be an exterior feature, but I'm not sure where it's showing it there and can see a price on that. There we go. So it's $90 for engine block heater, and that's going to give you, allow you to plug in your vehicle, keeping it warm in the wintertime, at night, and that kind of thing. So it starts up a lot easier. And that is optional on all of your trim levels and all your configurations. And front license plate bracket, we mentioned earlier that standard equipment on uh, for people that live in states that require front tag. But states like Kansas this does not require front tag. It's optional equipment, but it's a no charge option if you want to add that to your vehicle. Not sure if that's listed in here or not, but front license plate bracket, it can be added to your vehicle. So I don't see it on here, but it is available. So keep that in mind. Um, and then if you're ordering from a dealership that doesn't live in a uh, front license plate bracket state or a front license state like Kansas, you'll want to remember that. So if you're ordering through us, you want to say, hey, I need that front license plate bracket. And then let us know if you want to put on. There's some people that don't want that put on, even if they live in a two state uh, state like that. A lot of times we'll order them on all of our out of state vehicles, but you just want, you want to remind us so that we make sure we get that ordered for you. Also, continuously controlled damping uh, is optional on the 502A equipment group with the Super Crew, uh, but not available on the fx4 package so keep that in mind uh, so you can have the the ccd is what um, of course it goes by there also you have a couple different running board options so let's uh, run through these so if you have the chrome package so let's go back up to our packages and uh, select a chrome package click that and of course yes i want to go up to the mid package so if you go with the chrome package uh, you do have some options this this uh, there's a running board that's also available on the uh, available with the 500A without the Chrome package, as well as on the 501A equipment group, but is also included in the Chrome package. So the running board that's standard, it's not showing it on here because it's showing it looks like a power board, but it's not a power board. So if you can, you go down here to the, get to the running boards. I think running boards are actually, in, there you go. They're usually in a separate section under the ex exterior here. Uh, so if we look at the Chrome Angular running board, it says it's included. Um, it's really hard to tell that because it's not, see, it's showing it as a power board. So they, they need to fix the website here that that's actually, that image needs to be over here <laughs> at the power board section. So they don't have a good shot of that. So, um, uh, earlier I had the one with the Chrome package that was in there. So we'll give you a clip of that, see what that looks like. But that is that running board, which is standard on the Chrome package is available as optional equipment on the 500A or 501 without the Chrome package. Uh, so keep that in mind. Also, you can get the extended 
uh, chrome boards. So basically, the chrome boards typically are going to just go across the doors, not extend all the way back to the wheel. You can get the extended chrome running boards for that six and a half foot bed uh, for the Super Crew or the eight foot bed on the uh, Super Cab. Uh, so keep that in mind. That one's also available. It says uh, it's optional on all equipment groups. Uh, so you don't have to have a chrome package to get that. Uh, so you can do that. And of course, it's not available with the Sport Appearance package, though. Um, and it's not available with the Crew 6.5 foot bed of saying, actually. Uh, and then, um, or the 500A two wheel drive uh, does require the 20 inch wheels on other two wheel drives. So there's a lot of requirements there of what it has to, what you have to have to get the extended run -up, chrome running boards there. Now, if you have the sport appearance package, you can upgrade to the six, six inch extended gray running boards on the sport packages. Uh, again, requires the sport package and the 20 inch wheels on the two wheel drive, um, but not available with the black appearance package because it's not going to be the right color. And then, of course, you can get the power to boil rewards. That's what we uh, looked at here. Doesn't have an image. Basically, that's what it looks like right there. So you can get the chrome uh, uh, side step bars there or the chrome deployable running boards, I should say. It uh, does require you to have Super Crew, by the way, for that, uh, even though that image shows a Super Cab. <laughs> They really need to fix these images here. Uh, power deployable running boards uh, also with the black accent available on the black appearance package and does also require the Super Crew. So keep that in mind. Let's talk about some different wheels. So you can get the, I'll go up here to the wheels. I think that was up higher. There we go. We do have a 20 inch chrome wheel that's available. I think it's this one. I don't like that they don't really tell you. There you go. 20 inch chrome wheels. You can see the cost, the extra cost is $1,400. Uh, it does require the chrome appearance package. Uh, 5.0 liter uh, with the crew, six and a half, four by four requires a snowplow prep package. So just keep that in mind as well. So little configurations there that it is, is not available with, uh, but just keep that in mind. And then you can also get on the sport appearance package, you can get the 20 inch dark alloy wheel on your sport appearance package so you can get that as well and i think it's my is it that wheel there you go so again see it requires you to add this take that off all kinds of things but here's your 20 inch gloss black wheel and that that is uh, looks like that's the wheel as part of the black appearance package so probably this wheel is the wheel we're going to be wanting to get there you go there's your 20 inch uh, six spoke uh, dark alloy wheel $1,400 that's the wheel you would see if you have the sport appearance package you want to upgrade to the 20s that's your wheel configuration for that um, otherwise this this wheel over here is your sport appearance package wheel that comes standard so kind of see the difference there uh, all train tires is also optional on all of them a lot of them will come with an all season tire on the two wheel drive so you can on your two wheel drives upgrade if you want to to the all terrain tires um, and then on your mirrors, so we didn't talk about this on the tow packages, but you can get a power scope trailer tow mirror, and that does require you to have a tow package or your max trailer tow package for that. Not available with your tow tech package. And this is why I think sometimes they have the tow package available is because of the mirror configuration. So power scope is going to be electronically. It can, it can, you can power it and fold it in. You can power extend it out away. Um, let me see if I can get these mirrors here. I think they were down in their own section down here. Um, oops, there we go. So there's a couple different options there. So if you look at this uh, clip here, there you go. Click on that. You can see, hopefully they actually sh they upgrade it. Well, they don't show you the mirror on the vehicle. Again, they got to fix that. Let's see if I can get one with the mirror. Nope. All of them are missing the mirror. So it looks like they're still working on the website. I would, I would hope <laughs> for that, but you can see that little image right there. It is going to be a wider mirror, taller mirror in a power scope out power fold in still have all the same features you'd have. Again, that's an, a $250 upgrade if you want to go to that mirror. Uh, so optional on all of them does require to have, like I mentioned, a tow package or max trailer tow. It does also require a 360-degree camera. So if you get a tow package and don't have um, that, you're going to have to order the 360 camera on, on top of that. And not available tow tech. Also, extended range fuel tanks. So we talked about earlier, standard fuel tank is 26 gallon on your Super Cruise. Uh, if you want to go up to a 36 gallon fuel tank, that is optional. Uh, not available with the power boost though, but optional all the other configurations and engines. Uh, now moving to the back of the truck, we do have the box link system. We talked about it earlier, box link being included in the bed utility package, but it's also optional equipment uh, for all of them if you want to. Um, 
On this one, I don't know why, but for this year, we used to be able to add that in, in previous years. But this year, um, to get the box link, it requires you to get the stowable ramps or the bed divider um, without the bed utility package. So if you don't do the bed utility package, then it requires you to order the stowable ramps or the bed divider to get the box link system. So, um, yeah, might as well just get the bed utility package, it looks like. But that's kind of weird that they're doing that for this year. Also, onboard scales. That is new for this year. $650 cost, as you can see right there. Gives you the onboard scales. Click a little I. You can learn more about it. As you can see there, available on the Lariat trim. Requires the continuous control dampening on the King Ranch and, and uh, Platinum High. Uh, but not on the Lariat trim. $650 there. It doesn't really tell you exactly what it does, but that's going to help scale out your bed. So if you know what your max in the bed is, or you want to know what that max uh, is, you can tell, it'll tell you how much you have in the bed. Pretty cool. Uh, we've, we're seeing that included as part of the Lightning, uh, F-150 Lightning. Now you get that on other F-150s now, other trims. So you get the onboard scale so you can see what you have in the back of the bed so you know if you're overloaded or not. So really cool uh, having that feature. Again, only $650 for that. Um, and then you do have the Pro Power Onboard. We talked about earlier as being standard equipment on your power boost, getting the 2.4 kilowatt pro power on board, but also uh, is available on all of them. You can get the 2, point, the two kilowatt pro power on board uh, on all your other engines. So if you want that, you can do that. Again, don't forget, you have to have the engine turned on. It's going to give you an outlet in the back of the bed back there. I think two outlets, actually. And then on your power boost, you can upgrade from your 2.4, which is standard, to a 7.2 kilowatt pro power on board. Um, and you can see the prices right here. Sorry, I forgot to mention that. You can see that those prices uh, right there for that. So it's not a thousand dollars for the two uh, two kilowatt. The reason it's only seven fifty is because you're already getting the two point four on the power boost. So that's why it's only an additional seven fifty to go up to the seven point two kilowatt pro power on board. On that one, you're going to get a two forty watt, uh, two hundred forty uh, volt, as well as you're going to get four outlets. So that's a pretty cool upgrade there. I think this image will show you. There you go. You can see that setup there with all those. So four, four outlets there in the bottom and then that 240 uh, right there on the top. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I did a video on how that works. If you want to check that out under my how-to videos, you can find that there. Um, now moving to the interior. Let's go to the interior features here. As you notice, it drops everything down. Now this is showing the bucket seats. So if you want, you can get as optional equipment on the 500 and 501A equipment group is the bucket seats. So you can go up to the bucket seats if you want to as a standalone option. Um, going that route. So it's only showing that here. Um, typically, oh, that's probably because we already select, there we go, already selected that. So um, console is included in this equipment group. So let's go back up to packages and let's go up to like the standard. It'll ask us to kick off a bunch of stuff. There we go. So we'll go yes. Go back down to interior here. And then we can go down, and so you can see now it's showing the 40-20-40 a bench seat. Uh, but if I want to select the um, bucket seats, one of these is the bucket, I believe. So, nope, that's the one for the black appearance package. There we go. And then that one actually says to add the outlet. So uh, you go to bucket seats, you can see there you can get the outlet. So uh, so you can add the bucket seats as a standalone option on the 500 or 501A equipment group. You can also add the interior work surface too as well. Um, so let me go down to there. Here it is. So that's pretty cool. So if you need to work in your truck or something, you can see how that pops down, lays down, gives you a flat surface there to be able to do that with $195, pretty cheap to add. And that is a standalone option on any of your trims if you want to go that route. Uh, integrated trailer brake controller. So if you don't get a tow package, uh, don't have the you know trailer tow or the tow tech package or anything like that, um, but you have the hitch already, a standard equipment, and you want to get the integrated trailer brake controller, you can add that as a standalone option. I uh, don't see it listed here. Oh, here. It's actually shown as included because we uh, bumped up, but if you're wanting to get that integrated trailer brake controller, uh, again, included in the tow tech, the max, or any of those packages, but is option on all other trims, so we must have one of those packages selected or something in here. That might be why it's not showing as included, but because I want to show you the price. But I don't see the tow tech included there. So I am not sure. Anyway, um, 
So that is supposed to be a standalone option. It is actually showing that it is included for some reason. There we go. Maybe actually requires the hitch included in those. It does not say. So it's showing that it's included in the uh, the King Ranch uh, Platinum and Limited with the trailer tow package, Max Trailer Tow or Tow Tech. Um, so integrate trailer is factory on instrument panel and it helps the trucks break um, So it says available on a Lariat Tram, but it doesn't show us that price there. So. Um, and then 400 watt outlet is available on your 500A. Uh, we actually just actually clicked it on this other. So um, when we went to the bucket seat, so let's go back to our 402040. Let go. And then we go down to 400 watt outlet. Not sure where that was. Actually, it disappeared because it does require, it looks like it does require to have the bucket seats. So you can get the optional bucket seats and then get the 400 watt outlet uh, that throws them in together that way. Um, and then BNO audio sound system with eight speakers is also optional on 500A. We talked about it being standard equipment and are included in the 501A equipment group in 502, but you can get that on the 500A. And then if you want to go even further more, you can go to the BNO Unleashed sound system, which is uh, with 22 speakers, and that is optional on the 502A equipment group. So you do have to have that equipment group to get the BNO Unleashed, which is pretty cool. It even includes um, speakers in the headrests, uh, up in the the headliner all around you uh just it totally uh, unleashes the sound for you there also the wireless charging pad that was included in the 502a equipment group you can get it as optional equipment on the 500a or 501a equipment group um let's see if that's in here there it is 145 dollars for that if you want to add that to your vehicle so you can see that that charge there also you do have the twin panel moonroof is uh you do have to have super crew but it is available optional on the 501 or 502a equipment group to get the power moonroof see if that's uh showing in here somewhere twin panel moonroof big glass uh does have the um your power sunshade as well on there and i'm not seeing it here uh, we must not have super crew selected or more than likely we don't have there we go so go 501a Again, I mentioned this, if you don't have the right configuration, sometimes these won't show up. And that's probably why a feature earlier wasn't showing up. So go back to the interior. I don't see the twin panel moonroof listed now. And that might be under the exterior features now. So we can find it. I think it's $2,000 if I remember right. There we go. Nope. Oh. $1,500. So $1,495 for twin panel moonroof. Uh, and you can kind of see that in that image. Click the eye there. You can kind of see that image, what that looks like on the vehicle. So pretty cool. Again, available on your Super Crew 501 or 502As. And then you can get floor liners with or without the mats. Option on all of your trims, all your configurations uh, available anyway. Those should be down here with the interior features. Okay, see if I can find that. There we go. So it's 160 without the floor mats. If you want the carpeted mats to go along with it, it's going to be $200. So a couple different options there, how you want to go. And then the partition lockable flat, uh, fold flat storage, which does require to have super crew, and is optional on all of them. Uh, so keep that in mind. Um, you can have that. That's down here. I did see that. There it is. $215 for that. Click again, click on the eye, you can see an image of that. So you can see what that looks like. Basically what they've been including on the Super Crew for years, now available on the on the F-150 as well. So you can pull that out. Those lock into place there on the left side over here. Uh, there's an inside thing that locks those into place right there so it can't collapse. And then once you lower that, your seat cushion back down, you can use the key right there to lock it up. And you can lock that the seat down so they can't get into it. So that's pretty cool and how that works. So that's all your uh, features. I don't, I'm not going to cover any of the accessories, uh, you know, like your bed liners, your bed covers, and those kind of things. Because um, for one, Ford has taken off their website. Because right now it is really difficult to get a vehicle ordered with some of those bed accessories, uh, like your spray and liners, like your ramps, and all those other things. Still available. Uh, you can get them through your Ford parts departments and aftermarket departments and FordAccessories.com. Um, or actually I think it's accessories.ford.com, but you can get those. It's just not showing on here because it's really, they're finding that it's difficult to get those vehicles 
sent off uh, and be scheduled to, for builds without that. So just keep that in mind. It's a lot easier to do that. So don't include those in your orders and it will really help your orders up quite a bit. So hope that video, uh, this uh, helps you out. Again, it's a complete guide and walk around because we do cover all that standard equipment. We cover the different equipment groups, all the different packages and standalone options all in this video. So I think you can tell why we like to call it our complete guide video on the Lariat trim for the 2022 Ford F-150. Now, if you're wanting to get one, uh, you get a vehicle order the way you want it to from a dealership that knows their product and wants and want it delivered right to your door. Don't forget, you can do that with Law MacArthur here. We are doing MSRP and all of our order 22 F-150s. In fact, uh, if you hurry right now, now, at the time of recording this, there are some special rebates that you get on uh, custom orders, as well as we're doing a special this month for that as well. So if you're wanting to order a 22 F-150 Lariat trim, let us know. You can get a really good deal and get below MSRP pricing right now. But um, that, that offer is going on just for a little, uh, just for like the next uh, month, I believe, during truck month. Uh, but be looking for us because we uh, will get the vehicle uh, price at MSRP for you. Uh, and uh, we do include free shipping. So that means we ship it right to your door. So the, how we do that, very transparent about it. Uh, if you finance with us, we give us uh, enough of a reserve uh, from the financing that we can pay for the shipping. And that's why we do cap it at $1,000. So we'll pay for the first $1,000 of your shipping costs to most places in the country. That's all of the cost of the shipping. Uh, some people that are in some of the, you know, the coast, sometimes it's a little bit more than that, but we'll cover the first thousand dollars if you want to do that. So, uh, so reach out to us if you want to do that. Numbers are on the screen. You can call or send us a text message uh, to those numbers if you want to reach out to us and do that. So, and don't forget if you uh, haven't subscribed to the YouTube channel yet, hit the red subscribe button down below so you can subscribe over to the channel. Hit the notification bell. That way you get notified next of another video upload to your YouTube channel. Smash that like button. I really appreciate it. And don't forget to check out our live streams every Tuesday night, 7 p.m. Central here on our YouTube channel. So we have a lot of fun that night. Go over Ford news, updates, and information, as well as we take live questions from the audience. And every week I pick a topic of interest that we talk about. And so it's a lot, we, a lot of fun. We even do an Is It True Tim uh, type of segment as well there. So we have a lot of fun that night if you want to check out the live stream uh, with us as well. Also, you can find us on social media. We're at Law MacArthur on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And you can follow me over on Twitter. I'm at Tim Bartz there as well. And we do a live stream or a Facebook Live on Facebook as well on our Facebook channel. So definitely want to check that out every Thursday night at 6 p.m. Central Time as well. So hope you enjoyed this video. Till the next one, we'll see you later.